With cellular technology advancing right before our eyes, it seems like yesterday we were all on 3G networks, speculating what changes 4G would bring. Well, we've had 4G for quite some time and we often get asked, what is the fate of 3G? Is it obsolete? Well, we have the answers to that in this video as well as some interesting history on the generations of mobile networks. First, a little history. The G in any phone technology stands for generation. As a new generation is rolled out, the number is changed. 3G was an evolutionary step up from the original 2G mobile networks. 2G emerged in the 1990s and was designed as an analog voice network. 3G was the next generation which evolved the network from analog voice to packet switched networks. 3G specifications had peak rates of 5 megabits per second upload speed and 100 megabits per second download speed. This performance varied greatly by operator and location. 3G also was the first network that had authentication over 2G networks which provided network security. With 4G as a mainstay and 5G on the horizon, is 3G going to be obsolete? The timeline for shutting down 2G was vague and it's the same for 3G. 2G was rumored to get shut down years ago, but AT&T just formally shut down their 2G network in January 2017. The latest news is that 3G will transition over to 4G sometime around 2020 or 2021. It will take lots of time and planning to shut off 3G. The good news is, you don't need to worry about your phone no longer working when the switch happens. If you have a cellular signal booster, the same is true. What you will want to look out for is if the operator creates another band in their network. Well there you have it. The end of 3G's run is unclear, but it shouldn't affect you or your devices. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications.